אני אקרא כעת לבמה את מושי קוברסקי, יושב ראש ועדת השיפוט, לתאר את תהליך השיפוט וניגש להכרזות הזוכים בטראקים השונים ובזוכה הראשי שלנו מיד, לאח... מיד אחרי מושי. בבקשה מושי. ערב טוב, אני אעבור לאנגלית לאחר הבנפית של הגס. So, honorable guests, this has been a really amazing journey over the last month. Let me describe the process of selection in a few words. For the Atlas Award 2019, we have defined five categories. Agrotech and food tech, augmented reality and virtual reality, aviation and space, medical technology, and social and media. The committee has received application of 79 companies. After filtering by category, age, and size, we were left with 50 amazing candidates. Eight in the agrotech food tech category, four in ARVR, seven in aviation and space, 20 in medical technology, and 11 in social and media. Following a careful examination and meticulous grading, the committee has selected 16 companies for the final stage. We have met representatives from these 16 companies in person and were amazed for, from their ingenuity, courage, and perseverance. I'd like to say a personal word to all the companies that apply this year, whether here or not. We understand the enormous difficulty that you face daily when you are trying to make it a better world. We appreciate the innovation, we uh, admire the execution, and we are astounded by the potential. Some of you are walking where no person has walked before, and you don't let the fears detract you. Well done. So all the applicants this year deserve recognition, but uh, the sad news, we have to choose a winner for each of the five categories. And of course, to choose the Atlas Award 2019 grand winner. We will, not, we will announce them very shortly. Just before that, I'm honored to read a personal message from the Prime Minister of Israel. And here it is. Dear friends, I send warm greetings to the 2019 Atlas Award ceremony. Israel is a leading hub of innovation with thousands of startups and companies working on the latest technological advances to, Im to impact our world. The high-tech industry not only has a tremendous influence in strengthening the Israeli economy, it also seizes the opportunities of a future on a global scale. As we have repeatedly witnessed, Israeli entrepreneurs are proving that even the sky is not the limit. I congratulate the entrepreneurs being honored this evening, and I wish you all a much success as you continue to provide an example of Israel inge Israeli ingenuity and perseverance. Sincerely, Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> so I'm sure everybody is uh, tensed, and uh, I will make it short. But last, last but not least, I would like to thank the organization committee for providing us with the optimal tools for success. Boaz, Gili, Tal, Shlomit, Michal, and if I forgot anyone, my apologies. I also would like to thank my colleagues on the committee which have contributed the time and effort to this process. Amitai Ziv, editor of the High Tech and Communications section for In The Marker. <laughs> Batya Feldman, content manager at IVC. Ayal Kochva, owner and CEO of Business Development Center. <laughs> From abroad, Gianpaolo Granelli, Director of Formula Growth Asia Limited. Uh, my friend Gil Hod, Financial and Tech Specialist. <laughs> Sharon Shacham, who unfortunately is not here, President and Chief Scientific Officer at Cario Farm Therapeutics. And Anat Avni Papo, Director of Innovation at Menorah Miftahim Insurance. <laughs> and now I would like to invite Anat to the stage to share with me the announcement of the winners.